What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. Hope you're all doing really, really well. I, uh, I've i done some Holy Priest stuff. Um, been doing a bunch of keys on Holy Priest and really enjoying Holy Priest. And in particular, I want to show you some of the damage that I think Holy Priest can kind of pump out, um, which is really surprising me. I want to talk just really quickly about... We're at the point in the patch where... I think, you know, we're deep into this patch now. I've already accomplished some of the goals that I kind of set out to run for myself, like getting 3,000 uh, rating on one of my characters. Now, I'm actually almost at 3,100. I'm going to keep pushing with my Shaman, and I'm going to keep trying to get even more rating just to see how high I can go because I think it's really, really fun. But I think at this time, for me, it's um, the I have the ability now to branch out and do some other alt stuff. Um, I initially started playing my Holy Paladin, and being like, okay, I really want to try Holy again. I want to just pump some keys with Holy. And then it was, like, struggling to be able to do damage. Just, like, absolutely struggling to try and do any sort of meaningful damage inside of a key. I feel like I was just sweating. And then I popped onto my Holy Priest. And it's just been, like, butter. Like, I feel like the tools that Blizzard has given Holy Priest to be able to do damage... Is just really, really good. And you don't have to sweat quite as hard. Watch my damage here. 70k, 90k, 150, 130, 140, 150. We peak at 150, basically. This pack dies. I think if, if this pack could last a little bit longer, we might have even done more damage. But I just did 150k as a holy priest on, the, on an opening pack of a dungeon. We'll get back to that in a second. I'm 450 item level right now. I have like 35 item levels to go. Okay, I, I, I have like 428 rings like it's pretty bad. I'm only on two set now The other really crazy thing Holy priest in their tier set ended up getting Sorry, holy paladin in their tier set ended up getting damage as a part of their tier set Glimmer of light creates this holy reverberation that does damage or healing so like only Disc Priest and Holy Paladin really got damaged. Prez Evoker did as well, I think, when it comes to the healers getting damage on their tier set. Holy Priest didn't get any damage, but they're just pumping. I'm just pumping on this thing. I don't even have full four set yet. Again, I'm 450 item level. I have like a four. I have, you know, I just, I have like bad rings. I, I don't have a, a trinket. This trinket is just a healing trinket. It doesn't give me any damage. I do have Iridol, but it's only champion level, but I still do have it. I would, you know, I'll say that. Airdoll's uh, quite good. Now, I I'm just really excited about the prospect of what Holy Priest can bring. And I just wanted to make this video about this to show that even some of the healers that I think people forget about, they are really good in some of these little niche things that you wouldn't think about. They can pump so much damage. Holy Priest, you know, is sort of the, the forgotten, like, sibling. The forgotten, ugly sibling of Disc Priest. <laughs> Right now, because Disc Priest got all these shiny new tools. You know, they got the big new cooldown. Uh, they're, they're doing lots of damage. They have Mindbender up all the time. They're, it's like, it's really cool, right? And nobody sort of thought about Holy Priest. Holy Priest is insane. Chastise is really good. You can get a stun out of Chastise, four second stun, which is really your only way to CC enemies because you have a Psychic Scream would be the other one. But you can obviously spec into some other stuff, but Psychic Scream... And Chastise is now the other good one. So you now actually bring some crowd control, which is really, really nice. It's nice to be able to bring that to a key. And then this is the big one. All right, Imperial Blaze. Your next three casts of Holy Fire cost no mana and Colonel cooldown. Cast instantly. And Holy Fire can now extend on a... So on single target, you can now keep extending your Holy Fire dot. And then Burning Vehemence is the other big one. Increases the damage of Holy Fire by 30%. And it now splashes. So you kind of have an uncapped AoE damaging button here now and um obviously it's reduced beyond five targets but it is uncapped which is really crazy the other big one is rhapsody every one second the damage of your next holy nova goes up by 20 percent, and its healing goes up by 20 percent. this stacks very very quickly holy nova ends up doing an enormous amount of your damage as well and if we look i did 41k overall as a 450 holy priest that is a lot of damage for a 450 character. Let me just tell you right now, that's a lot of damage for a 450 item level character. Here's what it looks like. Holy Fire, Burning Vemus, just talked about Holy Nova. There you go. There's the top three. So I'm really enjoying Holy Priest. And I want to encourage you guys, 
if you haven't tried it, it actually just pumps out a lot of damage for very little cost. And this is one of the biggest differences that I was noticing between my Holy Paladin and my Holy Priest. Again, when I started thinking about my alts over the last week or two, what alts do I want to play? What am I really excited about? I was jumping in and tried some Prot Warrior, really enjoying that. And then I was like, I want to try another healer. I've done the Monk. I've done the Shaman. I want to try another healer. I'm like, it's got to be uh, Holy Paladin. And it just wasn't. It was, it's just so frustrating to play Holy Paladin. Like, look at my damage right here on two targets with the Holy Priest at 450 item level. We're top of the charts right now. I, I, no, whatever. It's going to change. But it's just, this is what I'm telling you right now, as somebody who plays... Almost every healer in the game, I mean, I have played every healer in the game. This is a lot of damage for two targets at 450 item level. Like, this is um, this is an encouraging thing, okay? Now, we pull way too much here. Here's a really dangerous situation, a really dangerous healing situation. So here we go. I fade there to drop aggro. Really, really good tool. I get bought by the tank. Really awesome by the tank. Thank you very much. And then I'm just pumping healing. A lot of it is just palm. Palm just jumping around. I think I GS the tank here. Yeah, I GS the tank so that he won't make sure he won't die, and I give him a big healing boost. And then I get a proc for free on Apotheosis, which is another one of your talents. Every time your palm jumps around and heals, you can um, it'll stack up this Apotheosis, and then once you get to 50 heals, your next palm will uh, or your next you'll get Apotheosis for free. Sorry, I'm mumbling my words because I'm thinking about the next thing I want to say, which is this: when you get this Apotheosis trigger. I have zero charges of Serenity right now. Apotheosis, of course, when you cast your relevant spells, it will reduce the Holy Word. So I'm going to cast Flash Heal like three times right now. Flash Heal, Flash Heal, and Flash Heal, and then boom. I get both charges of my Serenity back from this free proc of Apotheosis. It's insane. It's, it's really, really good, and it's going to get even better once I get my four-piece bonus, which is all about the holy words, the four-piece bonus for holy priest, um, basically your renew gives you a chance to get a free holy word. And so, again, this apotheosis trigger is going to help you get your holy words back. You have a real apotheosis cooldown that you can press that helps you get your holy words back. And even on a pull like this, where I was focused primarily on healing, I'm still able to pump a bunch of damage. I'm doing 60k DPS right now as a 450 Holy Priest. That is not something I thought I would be able to do. There's Apotheosis again. Did I pop real Apotheosis? No, that's just another Apotheosis trigger. That's actually insane how much that thing procs. That is really crazy. I'm going to have to learn how to start using that better because I'm not using it very well. And, of course, having a weak aura to track it. I know everybody in the comments right now is going to be screaming, Get a weak aura to track it. I know, I know I should. I understand. But um, I'm just, again, I just want to highlight how much damage we're doing. That's the main purpose of this video. I think any healer can do a lot of healing. It's really going to be about how much damage can you do as a healer? Because when you get to the higher Mythic Plus, that is the most important thing for a healer. It really is. How much damage can you contribute to a key while making sure that everybody stays alive? Yes, everybody has to stay alive. That's number one. But while you're keeping them alive, how much damage can you deal? And... Getting 50 to 60k on average on these packs while primarily focusing on healing is really good for a low level, a low item level um, priest right now. Like, it's really good. Um, here's another big pull coming down here. These two grizzlies, obviously very dangerous. Not on Fortif. This is a tyrannical week, so it's not super dangerous. But Fade is such a good ability, man. I didn't realize how good Fade was. Look at this. This bear automatically autos me. And I'm like, oh, crap. So I just fade. He wasn't he wasn't going after me anyway, but had he continued to munch on me, I would have been able to fade and get rid of it, which is very, very good. Again, right here, I get my DPS window out of the way. I get all my holy fires out of the way, and then another maddening roar comes through. And now I can focus on healing, right? And now I'm waiting for my my burning, uh, my, my cooldown to come back, right? What's that called again? I'm sorry, I, I got to get used to all the words. I just forget what they are. The Imperial Blaze. I gotta wait for Imperial Blaze to come back. That's what we're waiting for now. But it's nice that you have a window. You have a window where you can get rid of all your damage and go boom, boom, boom. It's like four GCDs. You get like a big hole. You get a, your four Holy Fires into a huge like Holy Nova. So four or five GCDs. 
<coughs> and you get all your damage out of the way. And then uh, you're able to focus on healing if you need to, or if nobody's taking any damage, then you can just smite and get your um, chastise back. Now, the other big part of the damage is making sure that you press a holy word before you start doing damage. Because that's going to proc your divine image. And if you guys don't know, divine image is our big capstone down here. When you use a holy word, you summon an image of Naru for nine seconds. Whenever you cast a healing or damaging spell, the Naru will cast a similar spell. Okay? So, what does that mean? Well, it means that you can start off your damaging rotation with a holy word chastise. You want to press chastise to get it going. Then go holy fire, holy fire, holy fire into a holy nova, those kinds of things, okay? You want to make sure that this Naru guy, this little white guy right here, make sure that he is able to continue casting spells while you're casting spells. Because if you're doing an AoE damaging ability, then he's going to do an AoE damage ability. If you're doing an, uh, a single target damaging ability, he's going to copy that. So... Holy Nova, he'll he'll do a little splash of damage while you're doing Holy Nova. If you're casting Smite, if you're casting a um, big Holy Fire, then it will also do that. Of course, he's going to copy your healing as well. So it, 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 it goes both ways. You want to make sure you have him out basically at all times so that you're doing a bunch of extra healing or a bunch of extra damage depending on uh, what's going on. And uh, it, it, it's basically a fundamental... I think that this actually should just go baseline. It's not really good, I think, to have it as a capstone because there's another capstone talent that shares a talent row there, and I love, I love the other capstone, but um, we can't, we can't really use it because the Naru guy is just way too strong. It, you know, it, it, he's just way too good. So it's a little frustrating, I think, in that I think this should just go. Ba this should just be a baseline thing. You know, um, maybe nerf it a little bit. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe nerf the duration of. It, I don't know, but. This should just be a baseline ability, in my opinion. Again, we're just doing three target cleave there. Here's another pack. It's just a pack to pack. I feel like we're just doing a lot of damage. It's it's almost as good as my Resto Shaman. I think Resto Shaman, in my opinion, takes the cake on how easily they can pump out damage. You just put a healing rain on the ground. That turns into acid rain, of course, starts burning enemies. And then you get a flame shock out to, for a lava burst. Then you're just going lava burst into chain lightning. Lava burst into chain lightning. You're just weaving in between. It ends up being a crazy amount of damage. Look, I almost did 100k on this pack. Crazy. Um, yeah, it's it's super easy on a resto shaman to pump out a crazy amount of damage um, without without sort of minimal effort. And again, this was my biggest contention with Holy Paladin was that I just felt like I was sweating so hard trying to get as much damage out as I possibly could. I had to do Crusader Strike. I have to get all my holy shocks out. Shock, 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 shock. Then I, I get the glimmer. And then the glimmer, once I shock somebody with a glimmer, then I get this holy reverberation thing from the tier set bonus. It's like, it's just like, okay, this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work for me to get sort of a minimal amount of damage. Here comes the fear moms. You can't fear these guys, by the way. Which, uh, I think I knew that in the back of my head because I had run this key with a stereo on his Shadow Priest, and he was trying to fear these, and they're, like, immune to fear because they're the ones that do the fearing. So, unfortunate. But here's the next uh, boss fight. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just so disappointed with Holy Paladin. I'm not saying you can't do damage as a Holy Paladin. Like, I know that you can. I've seen Holy Paladins in some of my keys do a lot of healing and a decent amount of damage. But I think overall, the amount of work you have to put in, the amount of work you have to do, compared to Mistweaver, compared to Resto Shaman, and now compared to Holy Priest, I think Hol Holy Paladin is just like in the dumpster, man. I just don't know. I don't know what to say. It's It seems really like a struggle to me. Um, I got Apotheosis proc. I'm not even really using it. There we go. I did use it there. That's the nice thing about the Apotheosis proc, too. It's like even if you only get like one uh, flash heal out, it's not. It's okay. That's probably enough uh, to get some reduction on your serenity. You can also with apotheosis. If you're smiting, you're going to be cooling down um, your chastise because it works with chastise as well. So again, also it works with sanctify. But in mythic plus, it's primarily it's a lot about serenity. I get rooted here like a like a dummy. We end up killing this boss. I'm doing 43k, uh, 40 47k. 
DPS on a boss fight. There is some AOE here. I will admit that. But, man, I just... It's just really good, guys. It's really good. I'm telling you, as somebody who heals a lot of keys, I've healed hundreds of keys this season. This is good for, like, starting out. Look at this damage here. We run in. We get this. We hit the... Uh, I try to hit the <laughs> AOE. I get one Holy Nova. I tried to get a bunch of... I did 131k right there. Everybody's about to die. Watch this healing. Everybody's about to die, because when all these mobs die, they do a burst of damage. Watch this. I'm ready for it. Boom. Sanctify. And I have the two-piece now, so my Sanctify adds a Renew to everybody, which is super cool. Here we go. I'm going to... Uh, I have my cooldown ready. Okay. So I've pressed it. Imperial Blaze has been pressed. Now these mobs are going to spawn. I'm going to do as much AoE damage as I can. Holy Fire. Holy Fire. Holy Fire. Divine Star into a Holy Nova. There you go. Bunch of damage there. 65, 66k. It's great. If you can contribute damage to a key... Your keys will go much more smoothly. I promise you. They will go very smoothly for you. And, man, I just love Palm. Palm is such a good ability, dude. Just jumping around, ding, 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 healing people. Like, oh, my God. It is so, so strong. Prayer of Mending. Here comes another one. I got to sanctify everybody. I probably didn't have to, but on a higher key, you would have had to. They, everybody would have died. Got a proc on my... There, I tried to trigger it. I messed it up. I got a proc and apotheosis, but I, I didn't do it in time. This guy's going to die. Again, we have our damage. I'm going to go Holy Fire. Oh, I just did Divine Star. Holy Fire. Imperial Blaze. Holy Fire. Holy Fire. Holy Fire. Again, you can move while casting Holy Fire as well, which is super cool, right? The Imperial Blazed Holy Fires, they let you cast them and move at the same time. Very, very huge because you can reposition if you need to. You saw me channeling Symbol of Hope. The other thing I wanted to touch on quickly is about mana. I thought mana was an issue for a little while for Holy Priest. And it's been okay, actually. Even with a build where I'm kind of primarily focused on pressing uh, Flash Heal, it's not too bad. Um, again, look at Palm just jumping around during that downdraft. Like, that's so insane. It just healed for free while I'm, I'm trying to bait over here. It didn't bait very well. Got to clean up some people. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I think this build, I thought I was going to run out of mana because I'm using a lot of flash heals in this build. And the reality is you get a lot of procs on the free flash heals, right? Um, which is really, really nice. And then on top of that, you have other ways of getting mana back with your uh, Mind Bender, or sorry, Shadow Fiend. You don't, you don't get Mind Bender. And then you have Symbol of Hope. And Symbol is surprisingly good. It, it's not... It doesn't give you very much mana. I wish it gave you more, but it does give you something. And um, it's not completely useless, which is which is nice. That's the best thing you can say about it. It's not completely useless. It does reduce the defensive cooldowns for all your friends as well, which is a nice little niche. I don't know how much of an impact I'm having there if I'm really helping the uh, prop pally. I can't quite tell, but um, it, it is nice to have that extra bit of utility. That, that's the bottom line. Yeah, it's just good, man. Everybody's getting breathed on, I guess. The breath there. Look at that. We're just pumping them. Doesn't even matter. Everybody just got breath, like full frontal breath on everybody there. And it was like, yeah, it's fine. All right, let's get to the final boss here. These last trash packs are fine. I think I've made my points. Um, if you're interested in Priest at all, and you've been told that you have to play Disc Priest, I just want to encourage you guys to think about Holy Priest as an option because... Um, again, I was, I was under the same impression that Disc Priest is really the only way to go. They have all these shiny new tools. Um, you got uppies and all the Mindbender stuff, and it all feels really nice and clean. And I'm telling you that Holy Priest should not be forgotten. This thing absolutely pumps damage if it needs to. Again, of course, you have things like PI. You can PI people, and then you just go crazy here. Make sure that you've got a Holy Word that you've cast. Then you need to do your big DPS cooldown. I'm going to go Holy Fire here into Imperial Blaze, into my Holy Fire, Holy Fire, Holy Fire. And then I, I think I might do a Nova at some point. I've got Chastise back. Chastise will also get your Divine Image out. And then you can use that to heal people. So you have that flexibility, which is super cool. I'm going to GS myself here with Fade just to make sure I don't die. There we go. And now I'm big healing on people. I've got the GS wings on me still, which is nice. G oh, this guy stepped. A lot of people got hit by uh, circles. That's what happened there, right? He got clipped at the very end here by the circle. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I was like, why did people die here? You got to be really careful here. Again, 
some of the mobility for Holy Priest is quite good. You have these free procs on your uh, Flash Heal, and that you can do a movement global with that if you need to, right? I'm going to heal that guy. That was Powered Life, I think. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. He died. Yeah, he died to a circle, right? Did he die to a circle? Let's make sure he died to a... Oh, no. He just died to the channel. I guess he had both the Feed the Weak and something else. So that's actually made on me. I should have healed him more. I'm just down some item level. That's probably part of it. And the Warrior... I'm healing him. I don't know what happens with him. I got an Apotheosis proc, which is nice. The Shaman gets up, and then the Warrior dies to a circle. So we're kind of in trouble. I'm getting Feed the Weak. got to heal myself. There we go. I do have Imperial Blaze back, but I can't use it yet because I'm just busy triaging. I should... Uh, there we go. There goes my Chastise. I should have pressed Imperial Blaze here for sure. Just to have some movement globals. Again, would have been really good on this fight to be moving uh, while casting, basically. But there you go. That is this key. And um, I I'm so impressed, man. I, I could not be more impressed with how it went on a Holy Priest. Again, I, I just have to highlight how amazing this is. I'm going to show you the numbers here. We did 41k overall. Holy Fire, Burning Movements, Holy Nova. Those are the top three. You got to make sure that you're pressing Holy Nova quite a bit, actually, in AoE. Very, very good. And then uh, we did have our uh, uh, Iridol, of course, right there. There's our Divine Image. And then there's the healing. Prayer Mending is slapping. Echo of Light, Flash Heal, Renew. One more time with my talents. I did come down here, get Crisis Management and Pontifex. I think it's pretty good, actually. And I completely dumped all AoE healing. I don't have Prayer of Healing, and I don't have Circle of Healing. Don't have them at all. They're not even in the build. We're mostly just kind of spot healing people. That's a huge chunk of what we're doing. But there you go, guys. That's the build. That's what I ran. I really liked it. And um, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Once I get four set rolling on the Holy Priest, I want to start pushing some bigger keys. I've already done some. I've done like a 20. I've done an 18, uh, 16s. Like we've already pumped some bigger keys as a 450. We're going to get even more. I'm going to get 2000 rating, get my tier set bonus really going, and um, it's going to be fun. So stay tuned, guys. And uh, I hope you're excited about Holy Priest because I think this thing is actually really strong. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. Thank you so much again for watching. Love you all. I will see you in the next one.